Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 5 in this series and is entitled Introducing Java Option Panes. For the past tutorials, we've been using the console window as our output window, system.out.print to display data, and scanner class to get input from the user. This time, we are introducing JOption Paint class from Jabax.swing library. Like the scanner class, we first have to import Jabax.swing.jOption Paint to use the JOption Paint class. To display text, we will use the method showMessageDialog of JOption Paint. And to ask entry from the user, we will use the method showInputDialog from JOption Paint. For activity number 6, we will create a Java class that uses JOption pane in asking for a user's name. We will count the number of characters in the name and display the result. We only have one input here and that is the name of the user. We will call that variable name. To get the number of characters, we will use the length method from any string. And we will put that in the variable count. The same variable will be our output. Let's call our new project Java Option Pin. Above the class declaration, we will type import Jabox that swing that J Option Pin. Inside the main method, we start by declaring our variables. Name is of type string, while count is of type integer. We can now ask the user for his name and we will store that in variable name. We will use J option pane that show input dialog. To get the number of letters we will store it in count. The string is name and the method is length. To display the output, again we will use J option pane. This time the method show message dialog. And we will display your name has plus the count variable plus the string letters. One thing you should never forget is to add system that exit zero. This statement clears all the variables that we use. Let's try to run the program. So this time, as you can see, we are looking at the dialog and not at the console window. So to enter our name, let's say Mohammed. Click enter. Your name has eight letters. We'll continue with activity number seven. We will create a Java class that uses G option pane in asking for the radius of a circle. We will compute the circle's area and circumference, and we will display both results. Given are the formula for the circumference and the area. We only have one input for this activity, and that is the radius of the circle. For the process, we have to compute for the circumference and the area. The circumference is equal to 2 times the pi. The pi value can be taken from the math class, that pi. It's a fixed final value. And then we multiply it to the radius. The area is equal to math.py times radius raised to the second power using math.py. Our output will be C and A. Please take note that when we are using the show input dialog box of J option pane, we are getting a string result. So to get the radius, which is a number, we have to convert the string value to numeric. We will do it in the program. 
let's call our new project circle above the class declaration we will type import javax that swing that j option pin inside the main method we can start declaring our variables the radius should be integer but as mentioned a while ago using j option pin show input dialog results to a string so we will declare another variable radius string that is subtype string last we have to declare the circumference and area variables both of type double now let's get the value of the radius as a string so we will put it in the variable radius string is equal to j option pin that show input dialog now we have to convert the string to numeric we will do that using integer that parsed int and the converted value will be put in the radius variable now we'll get the circumference which is equal to 2 times mat that pi you can see that pi times the radius the area will be equal to mat that pi times mat that pow reaches to the second power now we can display the results using j option pin that show message dialog circumference is equal to the value of C we will put the values in the same dialog box so we'll just separate them with a new line area is equal to plus A and at the end don't forget system that exit 0 this clears all the values now we can run the program let's enter the radius let's say 7 we got the circumference and the area thank you for taking the time to watch this video masalama